A new leader is taking the reins at the state's Life Sciences Initiative. BioCrossroads says the nationwide search for a new president and CEO led them to a native Hoosier. Business of Health reporter Kylie Valletta joins us from the BioCrossroads headquarters at 16 Tech. Thanks, Mary Rachel. Vince Wong will soon be the new president and CEO here at BioCrossroads. He's a Notre Dame and IU grad and an alumni of Roche Diagnostics right here in Indianapolis, where he worked for 18 years. He most recently led a startup. And BioCrossroads believes that varied experience from startup to global corporation will help him build business here in his home state. Indiana already ranks third in the U.S. in life sciences exports, but Hoosier leaders say the state can grow its life sciences muscle. And leading the charge is BioCrossroads, the state's life sciences initiative, now under new leadership. Having BioCrossroads serve as that, you know, to, at the uh, risk of overusing a sports metaphor, but as a, you know, as a point guard of a, of a basketball team, um, you know, really helping optimize the team. And the game plan is set. BioCrossroads recently issued a roadmap with 10-year goals, including moving Indiana from number two to the number one spot in the U.S. for manufacturing pharmaceuticals and moving from the top 10 to top five in medical device manufacturing. We have very tight labor markets right now. And so how do you get people to you know, fill the jobs and, and needs that, that large companies have? Wong is taking over as BioCrossroads prepares to take on that challenge. Plans are underway for a new program focused on growing the life sciences workforce. Small companies and startups have their own hurdles that Wong knows well coming from a startup. The capital markets are, are quite challenging. Um, the last two years have been a really challenging environment to raise the critical funding to enable a startup to grow and thrive. But Wong says Indiana has the benefit of a life sciences legacy that many states do not and a game plan to grow it. There's really no more rewarding thing than bringing something from the lab to patients. And I want BioCrossroads to really play a, an enabling role to catalyze Hoosier's ability to do that and make a lasting impact on human health. And BioCrossroads is based here at the 16 Tech Innovation District, and Wong is taking over during a major growth period. Two new buildings are planned here, one of them lab space for growing companies. Mary Rachel, back to you.